pre-calc students, welcome to today's lesson on solving exponential and logarithmic equations. Today we're going to focus on solving equations that have a single exponential or a single logarithmic expression within them. There's a specific strategy that's used to solve these equations. So take a minute to read um, what I have written here in solving exponential equations and solving logarithmic equations. So go ahead and pause the video and read through that. Push play when you're ready. So as you can see, we're going to be focusing on isolating the exponential or the log part of each equation. And then if we can't use the same base, or the same argument, the uniqueness property, we're going to rewrite each log or each exponential equation using the conversion rules. So in case you forgot, the conversion rules are written right here. Notice that our calculator, the button that says log is only for log base 10, and ln is for log base e. Okay, so um, Anytime you have a log that doesn't have a base 10 or a log base e, you're going to have to use the option on your graphing calculator by pushing the math button, then the alpha button, then math button again, and that lets you input any type of log and base. Excuse me. I sneeze. Sorry. Okay, so as we take a look at the first example, we have e to the negative 4x power minus 5 equals 67. Notice that there is one single um, exponential expression here. It's this guy right here. It's the e to the negative 4x power, and we're going to isolate it. So the first thing that I want to do is get rid of all the other numbers that are added or subtracted using inverse operations. I'd like to call this SADMEP so that you can isolate the exponential expression part. Once you have it isolated, if you can't write these, you know, the numbers on each side um, with the same base, then you're going to convert it into a log. So notice that E is a specific number, right? It's a never-ending number that we talked about. We rounded it to about 2.72, um, but it's really 2.718, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That cannot be written with um, 72 as the same base either. So what we would do is we would convert it to a log. So if you're given an exponential, you would convert it to a log. So using the conversion properties, the base is e, um, the 72 is the argument, and the negative 4x is what's on the other side. Remember, you can check your work by doing the whoop whoop, e to the negative 4x power equals 72. Now more specifically, log base e is ln. So I'm going to go ahead and write this as ln, natural log of 72 equals negative 4x. So why the heck did we turn it into a log? How does that help us? Well, by taking the log or rewriting this as a log, you now have x as a normal number. It's no longer in the exponent. So to solve for x, All you have to do is divide by negative 4. So divide both sides by negative 4. Now, the directions asked us to find an exact answer and a rounded answer. So for the exact answer, we're going to leave everything as is. So the exact answer is x equals natural log of 72 over negative 4. The rounded answer. is x is approximately, so I'm going to go ahead and type this into my calculator. I'm going to find the natural log of 72 and divide it by negative 4. I'm going to use alpha y equals, enter to create my fraction. I'm going to type in ln, that's the button next to the number 4, so ln of 72, close the parentheses, 
And then on the bottom, I'm going to divide by negative 4. And notice that they want us to round to the thousandth. So they want three numbers behind the decimal, which means that the fourth number decides if we round up or if it stays the same. So the fourth number decides that 9 stays as um, a 9. So this is approximately negative 1.069. Okay, notice that number two also has a single exponential expression in it. So I'm going to go ahead and use SADMEP and cancel the other stuff first so that I can isolate that expression, that exponential expression. 95 minus 11 is 84. Now, 19 and 84 cannot be written by using the same base. So 19 doesn't come from... 2 to the 1st, or 2 to the 2nd, nor 2 to the 3rd, etc., 2 to the 4th, right? Um, nor does it come from 3 to the 1st, 3 to the 2nd, 3 to the 3rd, etc. So you can go through your list of powers, and notice that it doesn't, you can't write 19 nor 84 using any of these. So if that's the case, that's when you convert it back to a log, so 19 is the base, 84 is the argument, and the 2x goes on the other side. By converting it to a log, what that allows us to do is it allows us to create an, an equation now where the x is just a normal x. It's no longer in the exponent. So what you do now is you're essentially just trying to get x by itself. You want to solve for x. Divide both sides by 2. Okay, so x equals, so the exact answer here is x equals log base 19 of 84 over 2. The rounded answer, I'm going to put in my calculator. Now notice that this is base 19. I mentioned earlier that your calculator can only do log base 10 and log base e. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in, so alpha y equals enter, and I'm going to do math alpha math, and that'll pop up a log where you can type in any base. So I'm going to do log base 19, use my right arrow to select the parentheses 84, use my down arrow to put the 2. So again, to do this, you're going to push math alpha math. Math, alpha, math. Remember, we're rounding to the third decimal. So since the fourth decimal is a 4, you don't round up. It's going to stay at 0.752. Okay, notice that the next example also has only a single exponential expression. So I'm going to follow the steps recommended. So this is just a specific strategy for these types of problems where you isolate that expression. And then you're going to try to see if you can write 10 and 4 using the same base. If you can't, you're going to convert it into a log. So this would be log base 10 of 4 equals x minus 3. Remember that by converting it into a log, the x is no longer in the exponent. It's just a normal x. So all you have to do now is isolate x. So solve for x by adding 3 to both sides. But remember, log base 10 of 4 is its own number. You do not want to add the 3 with the 4 because then you'd be taking the log base 10 of 7. We don't want the log base 10 of 7. We want the log base 10 of 4, so your exact answer is log of 4. That's a common log. Remember, log base 10 is the common log. And then 3 separate. So the 3 is added separately from the log of 4.
that's going to be important because when you type it into your calculator, you want to make sure that you find the log of 4 first before adding the 3. So the parentheses are going to be important here. So log of 4. Notice I'm just using regular log um, because the, the log that's in your calculator is log base 10. And then plus 3. You can also just type log of 4, close the parentheses, and then plus 3. So you can pick, put one big parenthesis around log base 4, or you can just close the parentheses for 4, and then add the 3. The correct answer is 3.602. If you do not close the parentheses after the 4 and you just put 3, your calculator is essentially finding the log of 7, which is not what we wanted it to do. Okay, so be careful. You want the log of 4, close parentheses, plus 3. So that's the 3.602. So those were examples of single equations that had, or sorry, equations that had a single exponential expression. Now we're going to look at some equations that have a single logarithmic expression. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight those. So here's, they're taking log base 4 of 1 minus 2x. Don't worry about all the other numbers. Focus on the log. This is log base e, right? ln is always the natural log. That's log base e. And then um, here they're taking log base 2 of x minus 3. Now, for all of these problems, your job is to isolate the log. So you're essentially using SADMEP, so inverse order of operations. You're calling, you're canceling any addition or subtraction, multiplication or division, et cetera, before you take care of the log. So here I have a 10 that's multiplied with my log, and I have a minus 3. I'm going to cancel the subtraction first. So I have 10 times log base 4 of 1 minus 2x equals negative 10. I'm going to go ahead and now isolate the log. So that means you're canceling all those operations that are on the same side as your log. Now they're taking log base 4 of 1 minus 2x. So you can't do anything with the 1 minus 2x because that's the argument of the log. Okay. Now, our recommendation is that if you um, don't have the uniqueness property, meaning you don't have the same log on both sides, same argument, then you want to rewrite it into exponential. So you're going to convert to exponential. And for this, we do the whoop whoop. So 4 to the negative first power equals 1 minus 2x. All right, so now you're just going to solve for x. 4 to the negative first power is 1 fourth. And now you're going to isolate x. You're going to solve for x by subtracting 1 from both sides and then dividing by 2. Sorry, negative 2. So 1 fourth minus 1 is negative 3 fourths or negative 0 0.75. You also have the option, if you don't like how this looks, you can also multiply by negative one-half, which is the reciprocal of negative two. It's up to you. Just make sure that negative three-fourths is in parentheses before you divide by negative two, or you can use negative 0 0.75. Okay, remember they're asking us for exact answers and for rounded answers. So the exact answer here for negative 3 fourths divided by negative 2, if you simplify it, you get 3 eighths. But as a rounded answer, you get 0.375. Remember, watching the video, you can always pause it to give yourself time to put things into your calculator, but you shouldn't just be 
um, just writing everything down without touching your calculator. You should be practicing um, putting everything into your calculator yourself. So again, don't forget you can pause or rewind the video at any time. Okay, so I want you guys to notice that this problem is actually the same as negative 3 times natural log of 10x plus 3 minus 7. So that um, minus 7, okay, is a subtraction, whereas the negative 3 was a multiplication. That's going to be important because when you're canceling these operations, you always want to cancel addition and subtraction first. So the 7 is the one that you're going to cancel first. Okay, what would you do next? If you said add 3, you are not correct. The negative 3 is being multiplied, so you need to cancel multiplication with division. But if you had said divide by negative 3, you were correct. Now, if I would have had an ln on both sides, or sorry, yeah, ln on both sides, same, same log, right? Then I could um, use the uniqueness property. But here, I can't. I don't have the same log on both sides. So then what I do is I rewrite this as exponential. So I'm going to put the e here. And I'm going to do the whoop whoop. So e to the first power equals 10x plus 3, and solve for x. So convert to exponential, and then solve for x. Subtract the 3. Now remember, they want exact answers and rounded answers. So when you subtract the 3, don't round e. Use e, treat it like a variable for now. We're going to round at the very end. So very important for you to keep e as is. When you subtract the 3, just write it separate. Okay, keep it separate. Divide by 10. Now notice e minus 3 is a binomial, so you want to keep that in parentheses. So for the exact answer, you're going to say that it's e minus 3 as a quantity and then over 10 or divided by 10. As a rounded answer, you're going to find the value of e minus 3 first and then divide by 10. Or you can use your fraction button on your graphing calculator by pushing alpha y equals enter. Put E, the number E is, um, you have to push second LN. So E to the first, actually, I think there's another, yeah. You can do that, put second LN, second LN, and then put E to the first power. Or what you could do is there's an actual just E button that's above the division sign. So you can use second division, E, um, what was it, E minus 3 and then over 10. Okay, so again, you can do second ln and do e to the first power minus 3 over 10, or you can use the e that's by the division button. They'll give you the same answer. Now remember, we need to round to the third decimal, so the fourth decimal decides that we actually need to round it to, um, or sorry, to the third decimal. So the one decides that the eight stays the same. So it'd be negative 0 0.28. So the exact answer was E minus three over 10 rounded negative 0.028. Okay. 
Okay. Now, for this next one, we want to isolate the log. So I'm going to cancel any addition or subtraction first. Then I'm going to cancel any multiplication or division. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by the negative 7. Once your log is isolated, you can use the conversion rule. And then solve. So 2 cubed is 8. Add 3 to both sides, and you get 11. No need to give a rounded answer because that's the answer. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to um, send a remind message or an email message, and we'll do our best to help you out. All right, guys, enjoy your day. See you later.